Hello my beautiful friends, it's Millie here. Today's video is a little bit out of the norms. <laughs> it is a little bit unregular one. I'm not going to teach you something about life coaching, but I'm going to pack with you for my Camino Portuguese. Tomorrow I'm headed up to Porto, which is city in Portugal. And today I'm going to prepare my stuff for the trip. I'm going to do my backpack. Okay, I think right now we are better. <laughs> My second Camino. For those of you who doesn't know what is Camino, it is pilgrimic way, spiritual way, for the soul, for the senses, all the good stuff here on this earth. Probably I'm going to make a separate video in which I will explain my experience. Also, I'm planning to uh, take vlogs day by day with the kilometers and whatever I'm doing there. So guys, Stay tuned for that and right now I want to show you what specifically I'm going to pack in order to support you if you decide to do Camino Portuguese or Camino Frances. In order to make this video as much as informative, unfortunately this video will be only in English because right now I don't have so much time. First to record the English one, then the Bulgarian one, then you know to edit it. So I just decided to turn on the camera and to catch up with you guys just you know like chit chat <laughs> during my uh, packaging process so let's start with the bag I'm going to take this bag it is 40 liter uh, backpack two years no two years four years before when I did my first Camino um, this was the same bag with which I was walking and I was pretty much satisfied from the product and for the from the quality um, also the price wasn't that high so for me it was very very good choice I want to mention right now that this video is not sponsored at all nothing that I'm going to show you as products they're not sponsored they're just pretty much my personal preferences and I would like to support you and to help you in your way if you decided to walk Camino one of all the roads out there so this is my bag 40 liters bag I bought it from Decathlon uh, I will try to stick with 8 kilos because uh, those of you who already walk the Camino or who wants and who are thinking to walk the way I want to advise you to not go much than 8 or 9 kilos because at the beginning of your Camino way you're full with energy you know your adrenaline is on the high levels but day by day you become much more tired and you really need essentials in your bag you don't need so much stuff you're not going there you know <laughs> disco and party you're going there to walk to think to understand your soul to understand who you are if you're on that level if not for example my second Camino is for me just to you know for the adventurous stuff because I want to just go out a little bit of my routine and the office work I'm working eight hours every day on chair and I really really want to move my body like good good move <laughs> okay so uh, this is the bed something which is very very essential uh, I recommend you to buy a raincoat this is uh, again from Decathlon one for me, one for one for me, one for my mom. Uh, we're going together on Camino. The first Camino again, we did it together. It's just like small tradition in our family. But of course, if you want, you can go with whoever you want. Let me introduce you uh, this raincoat. It is pretty much comfortable. I really like that you can fit your back and you know if for example there is a rain outside you're not supposed to uh, think for uh, another raincoat for your back just you can use this one for yourself and for the back because it is more uh, it is more white okay okay Okay, uh, I'm not sure can you see but yeah I think you can so here they have some kind of uh, plastic over here 
so the water doesn't have entrance in your uh, to your clothes as I said it is very white and you can put your bag over here and you just have enough place for your bag and for yourself as well so guys i recommend this raincoat i think it's a very very good deal and the price was i bought this one again from decathlon it was from decathlon posca it was around um, 79 zloty which is 40 40 levels in euro it is around 20 euro more or less okay let's keep going When it comes when it comes to shoes I'm going to take these boots they're ankle boots again from Decathlon I bought them two years ago and you know I, I still enjoy them and I think they'll be very very good match for uh, Camino Way um, in Portuguese it is pretty hot I'm not sure am I going to wear them as often as probably sandals or flip-flops but still I want to have them because we never know the next shoes that I'm going to take with me are these sandals again from Decathlon 89 slot uh, nice pair just regular shoes for everyday walk we are going to walk between 20 25 kilometers per day sometimes even 30 so i really need good 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 shoes that will support my foot and let's say that i will try to reduce blisters even though for me this is very hard because my skin down there is very sensitive and almost from every shoe i have blisters anyway but because of that but but it is what it is so what else we have I do recommend you to if you prefer to walk with sandals first to wear socks then the sandals I know it's not the most fashionable accessory that you're going to wear but you're on Camino so you need to be a little bit more wild right another recommendation if you want to reduce the weight in your back i truly truly recommend you to both two of those this is a typical cotton towels but they're very very light and they uh, skin absorb the water from your skin after you take a shower this is very convenient and you can use it as i said after shower or if you want to wash your just face just for you know on the road or something like to absorb the water from your clothes a very convenient option and a light which on Camino or on any other track you really need to have light bags in order to enjoy the road as much as possible not to become like horse and just to die the third day or the fourth day these are essential as well cosmetics I'm not going to take a lot of cosmetics because as i said one more time this is a spiritual way this is a journey for your soul for yourself uh, i will take some quality uh, skincare routine which is um, bandy i like them they have pretty much professional stuff and i use those uh, skincare with 50 cpf and this one bandy professional young care glow cream pudding it is um, intensively moisturizing cream pudding so this one is for the morning when you want just to put something on your skin in order to moisturize it and in order to make it glow and young and this one is for uh, protecting you from the sun only those two I'm going to take with me in order to apply on my face in order to cover myself if for example I have a um, uh, let's say cold night or it's a little bit more more cool outside I will take these blues and it is pretty much convenient as well because also you can sleep with this one back in Camino Frances when I was uh, four years ago I used this one as pyjama as well because sometimes you're getting cold during the night and you just need something that is um, two in one <laughs> You can walk with this or you can sleep with this as well this one is very very crucial what else I'm going to take with me uh, a cotton just for some blisters some CC cream with 10 some deodorant as well some body lotion it is 
100 milliliters, perfect for the flight. And another essentials guys, to which you shouldn't miss, these needle and thread. If, for example, your back breaks, you really need to have needle and thread in order to do your job and to make sure that you're not going to ruin your day or even your week because you never know where you can find service or somebody to help you in these cases. So bear in mind this small tip and make sure that you secure yourself with one needle or let's say a few needles and a thread. We have two toilet papers just for the few days, just in case, because you never know, we are humans, we need this. As I already mentioned, I'm planning to do vlogs, regular daily vlogs, and for that reason I bought a DJI Mavic Mini drone. I was saving for this pretty much a lot. like. I was saving for this drone about four months and then uh, I using my vouchers from work in order to buy it. Uh, right now I'm not going to share with you guys feedbacks or so forth, I just want to show you what I'm going to pack for my bags and uh, in order this video to not become so so long, I just wanted to say that I'm going to add this buddy here as well. Last but not least, crucial stuff are your medicines. You need to secure yourself always. Me personally, I really like to plan ahead, to be very organized and to risk, but wisely. I do not take unwisely risks. I do not take risks that are reckless. I prefer to think first and then to act in order to be sure that 100% what counts on my side is done and the rest, you know, just leave the universe to do her job. So here I have So here I have Cytoplast. I really need them. Uh, they save my life especially with my shoes. My legs they become irritated and 100% I have blisters on them beginning stage of blisters and even though we I didn't even start Camino yet that's what I'm talking about guys as you can see my legs my food they're pretty much sensitive so I need to prepare myself and even though I prepared myself I still have blisters but what we can do this is life also you can pick up with you this uh, light which you can put over here and just you become an adventurer with spirit Another very crucial product which I'm taking with me is this right uh, liquid thing that prevents you from mosquitoes. Guys, I also have a huge problem with mosquitoes, probably because I have very sweet blood, I don't know, but I'm all in mosquitoes right now and even though I was wearing a long sleeve two days before when I was out with my grandparents, I'm all bitten by mosquitoes. Let me show you guys for what I'm talking about. So we want to prevent ourselves from those kind of a friends which loves so much fresh blood but we don't want, you know? And last but not least money part and V part. I'm planning to spend 50 euro per day in Camino. Um, most of the time this money they're a lot but right now because of this situation in the entire world I really do not know what to expect and where we are going to sleep. In the way you have albergues, municipals, also private one. But right now I don't think that the municipal uh, will be open so um, I need to think ahead and to be sure that I have enough money if, if it will be necessary to sleep in the private albergue or in some hostel. With that being said I prefer to secure myself and just to have peace of mind. For those of you who are curious do I have V? I'm not going to say the whole word because YouTube algorithm catch these words and they can 
remove my videos because I use this V word. I do not have V in myself. I'm going to uh, use antigen test. With antigen test I can enter Portuguese from Bulgaria. I don't know what and how the things are going on in your country or whatever you're from. You need to check in the government website or um, there is an application which is called Reopen Europe. You can enter the city in which you take off and the arrival place and the application will give you more information about what you what documents you need in order to enter this country so guys i think i'm done with this video i hope you like it give me a thumbs up if you do thank you very much for your time spent on my video thank you very much for the company and i hope to see you in my next video bye